I'm Travis, and this is Luke, and we're with Siler Geo Drones. And we know there's been a lot of questions about when a new LiDAR system was gonna come from DJI. And today we've got it. This is the DJI Zenmuse L2. The L1 completely changed the aerial LiDAR market. We, we couldn't be more excited to have the L2 here today. And we're gonna see if the same is true with this L2 with increased quality, increased data at a much lower price point than some of those traditional high-end LiDAR systems. A lot of stuff has been changed under the hood. So we have some improved beam divergence, right? So that laser that comes out of the system is smaller than it was with the L1. And that lets us actually measure further into tree canopy and areas with obstructions. We've got five returns now instead of three with the L1. So we're able to hit an extra leaf or pine needle or something on the way down, which just gets us closer to, to measuring what the ground actually is. We've got a, an improved camera for colorization. So instead of seeing a cluster of points and not knowing quite what it was, you've got the improved camera and you're able to identify what a specific feature is. Another big feature of this Zenmuse L2 is the scan rate. So on the L1, on the third rate, we were limited down to 160,000 points per second. With the L2, we can still maximize, even on our fourth and fifth return there, up to 240,000 points per second. So that's a big jump. We're not decreasing our sampling rate. There have been some changes in, in the latest version of Pilot. Uh, it looks pretty similar though, which is a familiar thing for users. So what I'm gonna do is click the points of interest here at the boundaries. So I've got my area of interest selected. I'm going to click the blue checkbox. The drone we're using is the M350, M300 RTK. I'm gonna go all the way up to five returns. So I pick Penta return, my sampling rate, 240 kilohertz, and we're gonna make sure that RGB coloring's on. So I'm gonna run through some of our pre-flight checks that we would always do and get this thing up in the air and collect the data. All right, really curious on that. Wow, is it the two or 400 feet? It's 200 feet. That data is wonderful, I think. So let's look at the trees. And so this is a nice, dense area of woods. And I can see a lot of data on the underside of that. Hey, turn on height real quick. Wow. Yeah. Holy cow. So there's curb and gutter. Holy cow. Oh my god. And that's without strip alignment and denoise on. Right. This is just raw data. This terror. is as noisy as it'll get. So now we're back in the office. We're going to be taking a look at this data here in Trimble Business Center. We flew both the L1 and the L2 at very similar settings here. The only main difference was that the L2 has five returns and we're still shooting at 240,000 points per second. Whereas on this sample data set with the L1, we were using three returns at 160,000 points per second. So my initial results, Luke, show that the ability to get under tree canopy is substantially improved. So we're seeing more points under there, less gaps. This was a, some fairly dense stuff. Now, if someone's to take this and turn this into a terrain model, uh, that would uh, pretty clearly show you what you're looking at. Also, the accuracy and precision is quite a bit improved here. For example, this is a curve here in the cutting plane view. And what we're seeing is the red is the old L1 system, which you can see is not quite as accurate and precise. The L2 it definitely has some improvement there. So we've also got some survey measurements made here. So point 102 is going to be the back top of curb, and 109 is going to be the flow line just ahead of the curb. Let me go ahead and turn off the L1 data so you can get a clean look at the L2 on hard surfaces. So what we found in the data is we're able to measure hard surfaces much better than we were in the past, right? And that's the improved performance in terms of accuracy and precision. We also found that we can get closer to the ground. If we were flying over vegetation, we're able to, to actually measure what the ground looks like. 
so an improved performance in capturing reality. This L2 is going to be for folks that want a high performance LiDAR system, but they don't want to make a large investment on a new technology. Surveyors, engineers, GIS folks, construction professionals, it's got a wide range of folks that would be interested in this. The bottom line here for this L2 is it's coming in at a much reduced price point than traditional aerial LiDAR units, just like we saw with the L1. This is a refresh, a new upgrade from that previous L1, and potentially hundreds of millions of points on the ground with this L2, allowing for better data capture, a lot more um, data potentially to be gathered in areas of dense vegetation, under tree canopies. Additionally, we're still able to get that real-time point cloud processing and very quick processing in DJI Terra. All of this is a massive time savings. Instead of having a whole truck full of surveyors go out and scan a site, now we can have one surveyor go out and accomplish more data with this than potentially a whole crew over the course of a day. We know there's a lot of buzz about this and we're excited about this product. So if you want more information, I'd suggest following our videos or our website. We're gonna post more things there. I'd also say, if you wanna see it for yourself, reach out to one of our sales team members. And if you wanna schedule a demo, you can do that on our website. Thanks for watching our video. I hope we provided you some important information. And thanks for flying with us.